Dear Lord, I thank you for today, for this moment, this opportunity, so that we can come together and say thank you for your goodness in our life. May this moment we're sharing right now with you, Holy Spirit, have a transformation of power to the individuals watching today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, now we're at the intentional part of the show where we can now come together and give an intentional, relational, and very conversational perspective of the gospel. You know, I want to be a little transparent here. This episode took a longer time than usual because it was intended for you, the viewer. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Ain't nobody else. Not your friends. Not your cousins. No, no. Just you. I still have a little water in my ears from children's story. <laughs> if you remember, I went to go search for something. I'm happy I did not give up because if I had, I would have left the same way I came, empty handed. Please, please, <laughs> we about to have a conversation now. I'm going to be honest, my, my closest friends know this and I want you to all to know this because if you call me your pastor, then I need you to know this. I need you to know this. Pastor, youth pastor, chaplain, friend, minister leader, spiritual leader, that's if you desire to me to be there, that person for you, God bless you and thank you. And if so, I need you to listen to this. I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am, how a lovely lady quoted it, the lesser light reflecting the greater light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of us ministers title, you know, people God has chosen, servants of God, you know, or the servant of the Lord, servant of God, you know, that's how we say it. In Greek, the term is broken down in the word doulos. It means either slave or servant, right? Now I'm gonna let y'all know this. I'm gonna let y'all know this. I was nervous at first, but I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous because I need you to know this. By God's grace, I have been called to be a doulos, a, a his child. I call myself slave of the gospel, a slave of my master. That's what I call myself. Now, I, I know what the text says. He calls me friend. He calls me brother. He calls me son. I know these things. And if you're focusing on the term of what I call myself, then you should focus on who my master is. <laughs> because indeed, he calls me more than just his doulos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not calling myself this because a minister told me something long time ago. I'm holding on to a different connotation, a negative connotation. I'm, 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 I'm being misconstrued, misinterpreted. I'm misinterpreting. Somebody said this a long time ago. I'm looking at it in the wrong lens because I'm an African American. I'm, I'm sticking to the roots of, I'm, I'm sticking to slavery. No, none of that. None of that. Rather, it's me, an individual who desires nothing more than the identity of his creator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I desire no identity beyond my master. That when you see me, you see God's child. That's what I want. That if I'm doing something that I don't believe my 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 creator would do, uh -huh. Uh -huh. please, please, like him. Uh, I spoke Korean. Let me go, let me go, please. If I see something, or there's something partaking, or something's going on in front of me that is not of my creator, I will definitely call it out. Why? <laughs> because he would too. Mm -hmm. So let me paint you all a picture of what this looks like. You know, when my sister was younger, I was younger, my late father was alive and we all lived in the house. My sister, when she was younger, sang all the time. She still does, but <laughs> when she was younger, she sang all the time, all the time she sang. Everything under the sun, she would sing. She went from a Jesus, you are my Lord, my strength, to a hit me baby one more time. You know, everything, everything, everything. She went from L is for the way you, I'm talking about everything, everything you could think of, she sang it. And not only that, but she sang it loud. She had to make sure heaven heard her voice. And it wasn't annoying, but it was like, dog, bruh, like, come on, like, come on. Every day I'd be, Father, I come to you now. Seek his eminence. And in the corner, in the background, you hear, I get so weak in the knees, I get hard, I lose. All you know what, for what reason? For what reason? Door closed and everything. You still making all that noise. But I digress. One day, she sang a little bit too loud. No, I was downstairs. I said, Dad, you hear her? All that noise she making, she's been singing for the past four hours. Like, come on. I'm trying to watch my static shock. Y'all remember static shock? I put a shock to your system. Mm. That was a good show. 
Warner Brothers, if you see this, please. If you won't, I'll do the movie. I put a shock to your system. <laughs> I could be the character. I could play Virgil. I could do it. If, if you do it right here, <laughs> reach me. Don't hesitate. <laughs> all right here. It's all right here. <laughs> all right. But I digress. You know, and then he said, I was like, Dad, don't you hear all that? So he said, George, go upstairs, go to your sister, tell her to tone it down a little bit. I said, to tone it down. He said, yeah. I said, okay. So now, me, my father's son, <laughs> I am now under his authority. Mm. I'm delivering a message, not of my own accord, but now as an extension of my father, I'm going to do his business. <laughs> I am now, mm, I'm dancing, of my father's authority. Mm. I move along with him. Mm -hmm. His business is now my business. I am now his extension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I go upstairs. I go up the stairs. I say, Dad. <laughs> I say, hey. I knock. And, and I could have been a little bit nicer. But I said, hey, Dad said to turn it down. You would think she would say, okay. Or I'm sorry. No. <laughs> the messenger. The messenger. She said, you big rhinoceros, elephant, ugly, can't sing, big bone. Like she said a whole bunch. <laughs> I said, oh, I said, okay. So this is what I did. I said, okay. okay. All right. Big boned, elephant, okay. Ugly. All right. I'm, I'm writing all this. I'm writing all this down now. And I left. I went downstairs back to my father. I said, Dad, this is what she said to you. <laughs> you must know when my sister rebuked me, it was not my authority she rebuked, but my father's. Mm. It is not my job to fight back. It is my father's. Mm. <laughs> the rebuke she gave me was not for me, but of my father. Mm. Come on now. Come on now. I was an extension of him. The things she said were not meant to me. <laughs> I said, Father, this was her response, her reaction to your words, not mine. He says, George, go get your sister. And now I'm walking and he's walking with me. Ooh. I'm walking, he's walking with me now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, oh, George, let's, let's go get your sister. His authority was with me when I first went. Hmm? Now he and his authority is with me. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. So now I go get my sister. And now she comes downstairs. And he says, George, go upstairs. So now the same protection that is uplifting me upstairs <laughs> is now bringing down the review. The same authority that brought down the rebuke lifted me up so if i say i am a dulos and i say i have nowhere else to go because i won't thrive anywhere else i need to stay with you i need to be binded with you it is not because because i am i'm, I'm frustrated or i was lied to or i'm holding this past mentality no it is simply because if i kneel at the throne i stand in front of anyone This is what it means to be a doulos. You don't have to adopt that. You don't. You don't. It's a personal conviction. You don't have to adopt it. Now, I'm only a slave to Jesus. Nobody else. Nobody else. I am my master's. I'm nobody else's. Why? Because with him, <laughs> things change. Things are brewing in the atmosphere. I see things moving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. His glory is upon my behalf. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I radiate, I shine. Mm -hmm. I have hope in a dark world. This is what it means. Remember that when you walk according to his authority, nobody can mess with you. Ain't no, they, might have, they might have a laugh here and there. But when God speaks, uh -uh. Just, that's how it happens. <laughs> oh, God's talking. Let God speak on your behalf. You keep your faith. Stay with him. Cling to him. Mm-hmm. Don't be compromised. Don't compromise. Don't compromise. Be better, not bitter. Ooh. Oh. Church, it is always a privilege and honor to share a moment with you. And PG family, I thank you so much now. Tune in next week to the newest episode of Ministries like PG. Oh, oh.
I almost forgot. Say it like you mean it now. <laughs> Go on, grab your Bible. I'll wait. I think they're doing construction. All right, now. Say it like you mean it. My current situation is not my final destination. Why? Because God is a God of restoration. Church, may the Lord bless you and keep you now. May he make his face shine upon you, be gracious towards you. May he turn his face towards you and give you peace. All right, y'all then. <laughs> it's a privilege and honor. I appreciate you. And God bless you. Until next time. Follow me on Instagram. Catch me on Spoon, Anchor, on YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube account. And welcome to the MPG family. Thank you so much. And God bless. Remember, God loves you and I do too. All right then, y'all.